Hi, my name is John Lawton and I'm with MachinesUse.com and this is a Haas VF2. Today on our Tuesday how-to's, I'm going to show you how to determine if a machine has a two-speed gearbox and uh, if it's working. We get that question all the time, does this spindle have the two-speed gearbox or not? People want the two-speed gearbox sometime for low-end torque. Uh, so it'll have two speed ranges, the low range and the high range. Uh, the standard Haas spindle on these older machines went up to 7500 RPM just all the way up on a bolt drive without changing. Uh, with the two-speed function, uh, you have a place where it shifts. So we gotta figure out now what speed it shifts at so that we know where to test it. Where you can do that is if you go right here to parameter diagnostics right here, this button right here, it says param diagnos. You hit that. And I'm on common page two of that. And I look down here and it says high, low gear change. 2201. So that means at 2201 RPM, this machine is set up to change from the low gear range to the high gear range. So it has, should have a two speed gearbox saying that. We'll verify that by running it. So we're going to run it slow, slower than the range, and then run it higher than the range and watch it shift. So I'll get out of that. And I'm going to go to MDI. So I'm going to the MDI, which is right here. MDI mode. This is where I can write a simple program without making a full program. I could just write a line of code and make the machine do what I want. So I'm going to make the machine run the spindle in the clockwise direction. So turning the spindle on clockwise. M3 is the code right there. And then I got to tell it how fast, and that is speed. So S for speed. S. And I'm going to go 500 RPM because I know that's less than 2201. So we'll be in the low range. So M3S 500. I put that code in here. Always remember to put the end of block right here. That puts the cursor right after uh, the semicolon. So now it's down here, and if I hit the right enter, that little magic button that's always down at the lower right, boom, it puts it up there. Okay? So now that's ready to go. If I hit cycle start, the spindle is going to run at 500 RPM. I will do it right now. Here's the cycle start. Check it out. Spindle is running at 500 RPM. So it's in the low range according to what we looked at. So now what I'm going to do is this is up here. I can hit, where is it here, erase that program while it's running without stopping the spindle or hitting reset or doing anything. You notice it changed that to nothing. Now I want to give it a command, that same M3 command to run the spindle, but the speed with the S, I'm going to go 2500 RPM. M3 S 2500, and I'm going to remember the end of block semicolon and I'm going to hit the right button and it's up there I'm still running at 500 rpm because I have not hit the cycle start to do that technically we'll be over the 2201 rpm it should stop and shift and run into the high range then we know one yeah it does have a two-speed gearbox and two it's working so I'm gonna hit it now and you can watch the spindle it stops shifts and fires up so now we know that the machine not only has a two-speed gearbox, but that two-speed gearbox is working. If I want to slow it back down to under and have it shift down and just hear it one more time, I can. So once again, I'll hit that erase program, which deletes what's up there. I haven't hit reset or anything, so it's still running. I'll hit the M3S500 again with my cursor end of block. Hit the right enter. It's up there. If I hit cycle start, it should drop back down to 500, it should have to shift to do that. And there it goes. And it's not sitting and going back and forth and trying to find it and search or stalling out or anything like that. So it's working well. That's a spindle that the two-speed gearbox is functioning properly. So it has the two-speed gearbox and it's functioning properly. What are things that are to look for? Uh, having the spindle stop, start rocking back and forth, forward and back, looking for something, doesn't get it and errors out. Well, there's a number of things could, that could happen there. Does that mean your whole gearbox is bad? You got to spend seven grand to put a new one on? Not necessarily. This uh, gearbox switching is triggered by air. There's an airline coming in and the port coming through sometimes gets clogged up. Uh, one of the big service things to do on some of these older machines is to port that out. It's just to there's a, a, have a tech take a little reamer or drill and just kind of drill out that port a little, clean it out. It'll get proper air and it'll shift. If that works, you may have many years left on your gearbox because there might be nothing wrong with it. The other thing that could be gone wrong that's not the gearbox 
is up behind the shroud is a solenoid. There's a solenoid that tells the air to trip and switch it. If that solenoid's gone bad, you replace it and then it does the right air switch to do it. Pre-COVID, and I know everything's gone up and it's harder to get, but pre-COVID I could get those solenoids for $50, $60. So, you know, $50, $60, drilling something out, or a whole new gearbox. There's ways to save money and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that sometimes it's not the gears, not the bearings, it's just that the shifting's gotten a little plugged up or the solenoid's gone bad. So now we know this machine has good shifting. You got some ideas how to fix it if it doesn't, and how to look to see if your machine has a two-speed gearbox.